Hi guys, Hello people. I'm Elena I'm and we are watching the Better Call Saul. Oh my god, we're finishing season 2 right now. Last we're watching the last season episode yeah. of season 2. Oh, last episode. Last episode ended on a cliffhanger. It was a bad one. I have no idea what's gonna happen in this episode. I mean... Well look, Chuck hit his head. I'm sure he's gonna be fine. fine. Yeah, I expect uh, him to be fine as well. Oh, he's gonna hit the hospital with the electricity and everything. So I'm gonna yeah. hate it. Um, and Jimmy, Jimmy standing outside and uh, boy, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna enter to help your brother who has just hit his head? Uh, and also, why is, why is he at least not calling 911? He's like saying, call 911, yeah, call 911. You call 911. <laughs> you do it. He's like, you don't want this to be tracked to you, but like, boy, your yeah. brother just hit his head. Like, what are you talking about? Call 911. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm hoping he is gonna do whatever it is in his power for Chuck to be okay. I hope so as well. Uh, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid. Let's see what he does there. Um, that was honestly like a very... That was the biggest thing uh, yeah. in the last episode that yeah. happened. Uh, Chuck... I mean, uh, Mersave, mm. or whatever the name mm. of the bank is, um, going Mersa, to King. Mersa, 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 and okay. then, yeah, and then Chuck converting them back to him. Yeah. And then uh, Jimmy... Stealing them. Yeah, basically. Um, and, uh, yeah, still feel the same way about that as before. Yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> besides that part, we had Mike. We didn't even talk about this last episode, but, like, he kind of inadvertently led to a person's death uh, and I don't know how he's gonna deal with that right now because like if you know if he hadn't if he didn't do what he had done that guy would have never stopped on the road to help him and then he would have never gotten killed but like you know that's the business you're in basically like yeah like and this to, is to me what I'm more, more interested in is the part that that guy uh, knew what car uh, Mike is driving and yeah. he saw the car and is that gonna come back i do believe it will because i don't think now uh, mike is just gonna get his whatever hundred thousand whatever and uh, walk away free from this entire thing you know yeah so it's gonna come back uh i wonder how though i have no idea what's coming well i think they're gonna know it it was him and i don't know I don't know. And like uh, Nacho uh, is afraid that it might be traced back to Nacho because like they have been working together. So like Nacho is also afraid for himself. Um, but how he's gonna... Uh, well, I don't know. I think like... I, I just like... I also don't think it will because Mike would never talk. Exactly. But like, I don't know. Like Nacho maybe I just guess, doesn't... You know, I guess. Doesn't have that as much reassurance yeah. as I do about Mike. Um, so that's maybe why he is scared for that reason like i don't know or maybe because like how did this guy like he wasn't then a random guy who put to go to jail if he now stole your money you know he wasn't just like some guy that happened to be there so you would think maybe the Tuco mm -hmm. thing was planned and if it was planned and they would look who would want Tuco in jail yeah. and maybe somehow get to ignacio but i don't know oh well, yeah especially if they don't trust ignacio but it seems like they yeah. do right now well i mean it, it seems like it but like yeah. i don't know if they like have some suspicions or something like yeah. that but very interesting but like it's not like they maybe wouldn't kill a person just because they have their doubts and are yeah. suspecting them of yeah. things yeah i don't know i'm very i'm very curious to see what's gonna happen this is the season finale so i'm as, I'm, I'm expecting things to 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 happen to progress yeah and and it's very excited to see what's gonna happen especially with uh, with jimmy and chuck now yeah okay let's That's play the episode good. Oh, oh, he's God. already in hospital. And I will never know if Jimmy... Uh, I think okay. we will. Is this Jimmy? Uh, this looks like... Okay. Okay, but this looks like past time. Just push the corner. Yeah, is this past? Yeah, this is Oh, past the time. father? We know these will stretch our legs, get some air, a couple of hoagies. You want to get a sandwich? No. Remember that time I... I accidentally invited Kathy and Cheryl to the arms surprise party. It's kind of tricky on them to dance for. It was a fun night. I just remember the whole family cleaning up after you. And Mom leaving her own birthday party to drive one of those old. Mom will be okay for a few. 
few minutes. It's been oh, three okay. days. It could be three more. Okay? Let's go, buddy. Jimmy, you want to eat? Go eat. They mentioned when she died. Remember in the season one, I think he was talking to his friend that died, who asked about his mom, and they said that she died. So she died in the past ten years, I think. She can't wake up. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I was just waiting for it. Jimmy. No, I'm not. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> I can't cry for Chuck. <laughs> like, really? She has the DNR. Is your brother in the building? You can use the intercom here. Chuck. Chuck. Is there anyone you want us to call? Why would you let him find out like that? Chuck! Hey, Chuck! So, of course, Mom, what happened? She's gone. What? What? How did you. Did she wake up? Did she say anything? No. God, the relationship is so fucked up. <laughs> like, I really don't know what to do with it. It's so fucked up. And it will never be able like, to I get, don't know. get like, better. Like, uh, yeah, I don't. I can't. I don't know how. I mean, they like, will they maybe have deep sometime... rooted issues yeah. since childhood. I mean, sometimes maybe they can get their closure. <laughs> For some stuff, but they will never be like brothers. Brothers, real brothers. Thank God, Jimmy. Call 911. Call 911. Hurry, get out of here. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Tomorrow we have Christ. The cushion for his head. Yeah, hold on, hold on a second. Chuck. Hey, 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 Chuck. This is funny, sir. Oh my god. What if they somehow I'll say help his condition? Maybe if you turn off the light. Ah, oh, I don't do that to him. Oh my god, EKG. Oh my god, EKG for him. Listen to him. But again, maybe of course they have to do it. Like, I don't. Can they give him. Can they not give him something to calm him down? Oh, this is ho This is horrible. Uh, temporary emergency guardianship. I mean, he fits the parameters. You're telling me he's in need of medical care so urgent that we can't wait around on board procedure. Oh, certainly. Yeah, and Chuck is not able to understand the consequences. I mean, he can understand them, but he's... Absolutely. A judge will see if that will do. And then I take him home, and it's over. Pending results and proper treatment, yes. Well, maybe he's a little too. I don't know if Chuck wants to see Jimmy right now. Chuck. Mom, it isn't 
Johnny on the spot. <laughs> what does that mean? Is Ernesto out there? Yeah. Can I get you some? Ernesto! Come in here, please! How much are they paying Ernesto? Ernesto? This is like... How long was I unconscious in that print shop? Sure. He's gonna like uh, go and uh, he has li he's literally in the hospital and he's still finding a way. This way that this is gonna happen. Yeah, it doesn't matter if Jimmy helped him. Of course, of right course, now. of course. And yet you were there. Only one way he could have gotten there so quickly. Yeah. You never left. You bribed him. The kid behind the counter. What? Between the time Ernesto left and I arrived. And that's just me. I called Jimmy earlier before I picked you up. He showed up when he did because I called him. I was worried about you and I just I called him. He's gonna want Ernesto fire right now. I was like, Ernesto... I think Ernesto to... might want to get fired. Yeah, they could go for taking a Is he board. working in law at this point, Ernesto, or are you just, like, taking care of him? Chuck, there's something that I have to do. I'm really sorry. You're gonna have me committed. No, it's a temporary, temporary emergency guardianship to made up tomorrow. Horrible. This is a horrible situation. I don't want to do here. Horrible. But their relationship, honestly, is one of the most fascinating things of this show. Horrible. But I hate it. I Ernesto, why did you do it? Ernesto, why are you so sweet? What is this? Look, I didn't want to say anything, but your brother, the way he's been talking about you lately, it's like, he's really out to get you, Jenny, and I don't know. You're my friend. Thank you. Ernie, what a sweetheart. Again, somebody choosing Jimmy over Honestly, Chuck. Honestly, like, I can't, like, Chuck cannot get Chuck a is literally break. here right for, like, I mean, right. Nobody's right for going out with their brother, but, like, technically right. Yeah. Legally right. Well, he's yeah. like, my brother is a legal thing, I'm gonna bring him down. Like. And Ernesto is choosing... Okay, this is... Who's this? Who's this? Is that the guy that was driving the truck? What truck? That's... No, no. Who is this one? Oh, this is my boy. Boy, this is don't my boy. kill. So I mean, I know you're killing people, but like, I don't think you like him. Boy, it. fully support you. Boy, whatever you do, I really like him. I just don't know why I like him this much. He is definition. Guys, like, he is honestly the definition of baby boy for me. He is wow. a baby boy. He is a baby I, boy. I disagree. <laughs> Not really the definition, but yeah. I, I just think he's exactly. a baby boy. Exactly. Same with our conflict with him, baby boy. Two. Is Ma that's not Mike. That's not Mike. There is it Mike. is Mike in another that's car. That's not the first car. Uh, right. Boy, you're very close to them, are you not? I would've fucking seen you if I looked back. And he's following Nacho. Maybe that car really wasn't his. Maybe he's like a renter car. Because I really don't know. It's as though I had an allergy to penicillin and yet you persist on treating my infection with it. I appreciate the analogy, Charles, but... But they literally can't, can't do anything else. Can they uh, sedate him? That's what I thought. Can't he like, uh, so. like be unconscious? I guess in not. It? Oh, this is gonna be horrible for him. I can't believe what they're doing to him. This is gonna be hard to watch for us. Honestly. God, when the sound starts. And this is for his condition, the electricity. This is like. Pass out. Jimmy, you're doing right there. You, there's nothing else you can do, boy. Honestly, like, I don't know. I'm gonna go ask for an update. Okay, good idea. Uh, what is he gonna find out? I don't know. I have an idea. Jeffrey, Jimmy, you didn't start World War II, but you sure as heck finished it. And if that weren't enough, you sent a rocket 300 feet tall to the moon. Now, in your golden <laughs> years, you need someone looking out for you. you need someone to count on. Give me Jimmy! Give me Jimmy! Give me Jimmy! Jimmy McGill. A lawyer you can trust. <laughs> He's so cute. It's really good, Jimmy. You made a really good commercial. <sighs> so how is he? The good news is that physically he's okay. Great. However, there was a complication. Fuck off, what? 
Chuck, hey buddy, it's me. You said everything looks good, so let's get you out of here. What do you say? What's happening? I haven't seen that. Whatever you came should have worn off already, right? We think it's a state of self-induced catatonia. We, always with the we. I think it's you. You're the only doctor in the room. And I think you fried his brain with that machine. Jimmy. Sorry, this is bullshit. When I first treated Charles, he was in a similar state. Wouldn't you agree? I have to believe that it's just a matter of time before he comes out. My fucking god. State of self-induced. Catatonia. Left, yeah. boy, like the amount of minutes. trauma mm -hmm. that he was facing to do this. I'd say there's what a breeze coming now? up down range. They're testing the guns and... I suppose so. Well then you better have paid attention to that shot. Maybe he wants he to right? shoot... Uh, What's his name? The guy who wants to Uncle. shoot... Uncle. Oh god. Hit. Suit or hit. Who are we shooting? Is it the uncle? They're really talking what about if it, that's how he ends up with, like, with the stroke thing, whatever? Because he shoots him like somewhere near the head, but it doesn't kill him. But I feel like it's too soon, in my opinion, for uncle to... I, I thought it was gonna happen later in the show. I don't know, maybe because now he knows that there is... Oh, that there is a person... I mean, can you imagine how Jimmy has felt watching him like that because he's the one who put him Yeah, through? I would, I, the guilt I would feel. Chuck, you do need help. Chuck. Ten of those blankets. I'll make you some tequila. Jimmy, please don't no. just, just don't just, feel guilt and tell him something. You've done your duty. You can go now. Wasn't like his duty. You're his brother. He, hey, he bit harsh. cares for you. He's literally just going back to work to, to yeah. finish what he started. I, don't, I simply don't. The thing is, I don't know how he could get any evidence against Jimmy. Uh, he is smart, so I don't know where he finds it. I have no idea. I don't know what he took. Mike? 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 Who we fucking shoot? In oh! The, in the what if they, well, he shoots the driver before they can talk to him? So he wouldn't want to tell them about the car? But, um, you, but you, you said he saw nothing. Can we see? Is I, this the house? You know this house? Well, I thought for a second it can be the Tio's house. No, Tio, the, yeah, where well, Tio well, was. I mean, with... I don't know. It could, be, I don't know. I can't remember the outside of the house. Well, it, it looked like that in the middle of nowhere. I mean, maybe. It was in the middle of nowhere. Mike, I'm afraid someone's gonna hawk him behind you. But like, what purpose are we killing thing people for? Because like, either it's revenge, or you need to cover your tracks. It doesn't look like Theo's eye. It, look like, it, look oh, it like... looks like it's falling apart. Yeah. I guess we're putting in the... Uh, I guess and we're shooting. killing him. Who? Who? Like, the only, the only person coming to mind is the uncle. Oh, it's I'm behind you. No one, okay. Yeah. That's the guy. <gasps> That's the driver, and that's then Ignatia. I don't know which one is Ignatia. I think who are we shooting? He he can only shoot one person, so like the only person. <laughs> is he gonna kill him? He's not gonna kill him, but we. I know mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's why he's in the wheelchair. Oh my God, Ignatia, move! Ignatia, Ignatia, move! Ignatia, we like you, move! Of course not gonna risk it, boy. Oh, Ignacio, move! Ignacio! One step! Oh, then he's gonna kill him so they won't torture him. Ignacio! Ignacio! Are you kidding me? Ignacio, boy! Ignacio! 
I mean, it's not like he knows that Mike's about to shoot me this. <laughs> but boy, feel it! They they killed him right now. Ignacio, that's... Yeah, God. Oh my God, boy! One fucking step on the left or right. Oh! But he has to get out of the house at some point. Now two people are dead because of something he did. Is that the car he mm. drove? Is that... What? What's happening? Is someone coming? Wait. He says... Is the... His... His car is... His car? Maybe Ignacio. Ignacio couldn't have come here so far it has. Who? I don't get it. But if they... Heard his car, they know... They well, they know. haven't really heard it because like you see the guy... Like that was burying the body didn't hear anything. But like why would it be making noise? I was like maybe they made it make noise. But he was looking at them. Who could have exited? Oh my god, the dog! Did you check into the... Yeah, oh my god, who did it? Behind you, boy, behind you, behind you, so it's behind you. What? Don't. <gasps> oh, that's a, that's a that message. Natural? From who? Like, well, from but when did Nacho? How did Nacho come? Nacho was there. He would see him leave. Maybe, Nacho knows maybe his car. They has, helped. They, they maybe made... someone has a different plan for Tio. But I think maybe Nacho left him because he only knows. He is the only one who knows that. Uh, yeah, maybe my, my, yeah, car maybe Nacho told he... someone to leave him a message to not do this. Why don't you think maybe? Oh, that's why Nacho. That's why Nacho. That's why Nacho was standing in front of his fucking uncle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not uncle, but whatever yeah. his name is. Hector. Hector. Yeah, Hector. Oh my god, look how many people came. What? Is this the, what the commercial did? All oh, old people. Are you gonna make money from this? I'm sure he Can is. Folks, I'm sorry about the wait. Look at the rainbow, it's so Excuse cute. Excuse me one second. Sorry, the power just come on. This isn't been turning into you all night. So if someone will stop bothering you and leave me. What did you talk to? It's about Chuck. Maybe he somehow found the evidence. Uh, I don't see the, what evidence he could find, that's the thing. Maybe this is Chuck's plan to somehow get Jimmy to come. Uh, I don't know. In the meantime, who was it? Hey, what's up? Jimmy, I have just one question. Did he quit? Are you behind us? Am I behind what? Cool. I, I, don't, I don't get it. What? He quit? There's no. I don't I mean, know. I don't think so. Why would he? Why would I what would he? What was he looking for? Let's connect it with that. What, was, what could he have been looking for that led to this? What could he have been led to what? I don't know. Led to. You don't have the keys. Did he find some evidence against him for like a previous case? No, no, no. Come I think on. this is oh, all Chuck's plan right now. Why you're here. We can, discuss it can someone tell me? Chuck. Chuck, can you just tell me? I'm gonna lose my mind. Are you behind this? Okay. What's happening? So, Chuck, what's up? He's gonna say not now, uh, I'm, not, I'm not good for a job, apparently, I even make That's mistakes, and then Jimmy's gonna say, no, you don't make mistakes. Uh, Let's see. The law needs you. Just, I don't know what you are, 
if you're not a lawyer. How are you going to retire before you get me disbarred, before you run me out of town on a rail, huh? I'll be the only McGill carrying the family name. You can't have that. <laughs> Is this because you lost Mason Verde? So what? Who cares? You, no retirement for you. When you're 99, you can drop dead giving closing arguments to JudgeBot 3000, which will run on electricity, by the way. That's your future. I can't do the job anymore. <laughs> What do you mean? Of course you can do the job. I made a mistake. What mistake? A simple, nothing little bank address. 1216 instead of 1261. I screwed it up. I hurt the client. Blew it completely and utterly. And then I blamed you. It's this goddamn electricity. My brain. My mind. It used to be. You know, it all used to work, and now it doesn't anymore. People got hurt because of me. What if Chuck is lying? I think he's pretending. What if I told you you didn't make a mistake? Jimmy, I think he's lying. Jimmy, he's Jimmy, recording yeah. now. Christ, Jimmy, stop humoring me. Stop trying to talk every Is day that what he was looking for? A recording device? Mm. Oh, fuck. Jimmy, shut up. Jeez, 12, 61 to 12, Jimmy, 16. Jimmy, stop talking. Jimmy, stop talking. It was me. It all went down exactly like you said. I mean, can't this be used exactly. as evidence? Is it a two-party system for recording I someone? I still don't know that answer. I think Chuck knows the answer. Every detail exactly right. Because that brain of yours is chugging along at a thousand percent efficiency. Or are you just Try to make me feel better. I am saying it to make you feel better. Sure shit wouldn't be telling you otherwise. You'd go to such lengths to humiliate me. I did it for Kim. She worked her butt off to get Mesa Verde while you and Howard sat around sipping scotch and chortling. Kim deserves Mesa Verde. Not you, not HHM. She earned it and she needs it. I did it to help her. I... I honestly didn't think it would hurt you so bad. I thought you'd just say, oh crap, I made a mistake and go on with your life like a normal person. But oh no, we're <laughs> still thinking. <laughs> Jimmy is shrewd. Jimmy. Is he gonna lose his Tell license? Howard, you're not quitting or retiring or whatever. No, I mean, they're gonna pull it through, but they're gonna go to court maybe. But I still... No. Oh God, he's gonna oh, leave oh, again. We're gonna see oh, the gosh. recording. Chuck, is this not the wow. kind of thing you don't approve of? Yeah. Is this not you? You realize you just confessed to a felony? Besides, it's your word against mine. No, it's not. <laughs> How that thing still works? It's not dumb. Interesting. How, what an amazing ending to a season. Oh my god, can't believe. I have no idea what's gonna be now in season 3. Oh my god, this was a great episode. Yeah. This was really good. And yeah, I definitely believe... Uh, I'm gonna start with Mike because it's the easier one. I definitely believe, yeah, Mike. believe that like it is too early for Theo to uh, go into that state. Honestly, not... Uh, expect that to happen in the well i see yeah too. i wasn't sure uh i wasn't sure if it was like too early because like i'm sure there are stories to tell outside of him like with the whole ignacio thing like i just didn't know if we're gonna like prolong the yeah, I tried to be well. his storyline uh, or just like right because now honestly, start i that. thought we're gonna uh, first i thought we're gonna first meet gus before that mm-hmm. happens honestly but then i thought uh like when when we uh, when mike was uh trying to kill him and all of that, I thought maybe we're gonna see guys because of that. Like, I mean, they're connected and all of that. But very interesting. Oh my god. And honestly, if Mike killed him, what a first murder. What a great 
start honestly <laughs> if you had to start with someone i feel like hector salamanca would be yeah i mean you refused to go and Tuko was also a good person i think to kill i agree but like hector maybe even better to be quite yeah, honest my opinion, i still remember yes. her him choking the child in water like that was in nice. my opinion yes he is the worst worst person because Tuko is more unstable like when yeah. he does drugs and all of that that is when he loses it he's not always like that like when he's not on drugs drugs he's not that smart as hector salamanca is i feel like hector salamanca is more dangerous of than, course, uh, of course. i mean tuko is just he's not smart yeah he's, he's not, really not smart he's not the smartest one and very interesting that nacho ignacio boy Apparently the biggest baby boy. He's the definition of a baby boy. <laughs> he is a baby boy. I don't know why. Uh, I can't tell uh, you. Yeah, I think uh, very interesting that he's the one who stopped him. That he knew that Mike was uh, what Mike was doing. I mean, Mike. I mean, that's is, what we think at least. It's, well, it's, I'm hundred percent sure because else could it be? No, no, no I'm hundred percent sure uh, it is. And Mike uh, uh, following them just right behind their car. I mean, it yeah. wasn't easy. It wasn't hard to see him. And yeah. Nacho is the only one who knows his car because he came to his father, uh, like the shop, like the repair, yeah. whatever shop for repair. I have no idea. Yeah. So he knows Mike's car, but that is not the same car and that was that was used that he used while uh, following them. Well, honestly, I which really can't. I, yeah, I really can't. Uh, like, I can't remember cars. Like, I don't know which car was Mike's. Like, I don't know if the blue one that the guy who was driving saw. I truly don't know if that's Mike's Me. or if Mike was smart enough to do a yeah, rental car because, I like, know. I thought that was gonna be Mike is not dumb. Mike is very good at what he does. So, like, I think that would have been a dead giveaway. And if Mike says he saw nothing, that he really saw nothing. So Mike covered that track as well. I'm sure. Yeah, that that is great. Then I just um. Jimmy and I hate me to talk about it. Uh, Jimmy and Chuck's relationship drains me, to be quite honest. Like, I just oh. The thing is, uh, it's very interesting. It is, uh, and as much I can see why Chuck has a resentment to- towards Jimmy. No. I mean, even the first scene of this episode with uh, his mother literally saw uh, saying only Jimmy's name as. Uh, and calling Jimmy as her last words when she woke up from the coma or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I can see why he is feeling the hate and the resentment he is feeling, but that hate and resentment is just making him a uh, worse human being, you know? Yeah. I mean, uh, he didn't want to let Jimmy. Uh, ha- because of the jealousy and yeah. the anger, he didn't want to let Jimmy... Mm-hmm. Uh, say goodbye to his yeah. mother. He, and he, it's he, not he, like this is Jimmy's fault. fault. Yeah. Like that people <laughs> like him more yeah. than they like Chuck. I mean, it's really sad when you see Chuck, like his mother is in the bed yeah. and he's like, Mom, Mom and, and she's here, only looking here. for Jimmy, you and know. Jimmy's the one and that's horrible. Left and her side yeah. where Chuck is just standing his ground yeah. waiting for his mother to look Like he's, up. he's, I'm, I'm sure he was like the perfect child who did yeah. everything right and all that and like. Also with his father, he always, like, never believed that Jimmy could have done anything, uh, like, stealing from him, though Jimmy mm-hmm. did. And so, uh, Chuck and always... the only thing, Chuck, that's the that's Chuck's entire life. Yeah. Uh, and he, uh, like, like... Constantly, all he knows from Jimmy is Jimmy does this thing, and no one believes the, Meryl and still thing, loves yeah, him. Yeah, and the thing is, that's the only thing he, uh, remembers from mm-hmm. Jimmy. Like, Jimmy said, like, mentioned the one time when they had... I don't, I don't. I can't remember the scene. Oh, there's something about the mom's birthday when yeah, he brought uh, two and, people. And he wanted, like, I guess, them to uh, talk about stuff and yeah. not talk about, not just think about how their mother is in the bed. Uh, yeah, dying. Dying. And uh, Chuck only said, like, uh, yeah, I remember the time when uh, we had to clean your we mess. Had, we had to clean your mess that yeah. you made. Yeah. I mean, that was a very telling moment that all Chuck, all all, all Chuck. memories. Yeah. Uh, of Chuck's about the Jimmy are bad ones yeah. where he has had to pick up uh, whatever whatever Jimmy does and so like you can understand where where his resentment is coming from from Jimmy and then like on the on the other side of Jimmy you can just see um, like they have a completely different approach to 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 each other like Jimmy is really he really loves his brother and 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 he cares for him and um, 
he doesn't hold any type of resentment yeah. towards him. Yeah. Like, even though, like, his brother didn't have faith in him and all that, like, he still doesn't hold any resentment towards him. But, like, they have both grown up completely differently. Mm-hmm. And, and so, honestly, the whole situation is just, it's just so complicated. Yeah. It's and I truly do not see a way out. No, there um, is no way and out. And I, I also, I just, I simply cannot, uh, like for Chuck's character, I simply cannot, I, I, I can't bring myself to hate him for for what he is doing to Jimmy right now, uh, like him wanting Jimmy to, uh, get. Is that it's called this disbarred? I think so, yeah. Disbarred or whatever uh, it's called. Wait, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Just because, like, I can feel the like years, the decades of of that pent up anger for his brother that are coming to the surface now. Not now, but was like through through the entire thing. And like right now, the thing that he did with Mesa Verde was just like another drop in the cup that's overfilling. I just think the whole situation is too fucked up. Like, am I supporting? Charles in this no, no <laughs> like no supporting. I don't want him to win here but the entire time um, through, entire, through the entire episode like uh, I was just waiting uh, mm-hmm. because like I knew he uh, I, I thought even if Jimmy comes into the and helps him and like let's say save his life mm-hmm. Chuck is not gonna appreciate that Chuck is not gonna be like okay he saved me life uh, saved my life maybe I'm not I should not uh, like uh, try send yeah. send him in court, you know, yeah. and like try to dispart him. Mm-hmm. But I knew that would not make a difference uh, for Chuck in that moment about about law. Yeah, but I mean, we have talked we have law. talked about we have talked about that in the previous episode where we were talking about what like if Jimmy comes, is Chuck gonna then you know appreciate yeah. that? And we no. talked about how he's not gonna because I mean uh, first and foremost. We are where we are right now because Jimmy did a thing. And so, like, Chuck had a panic attack and all that. Uh, and he's not going to be appreciative of, thank you for coming right now after yeah. you have done this. And that was always a clear thing. And and I just think there was no way after all, the, all that has happened in their entire lives that now Chuck is going to let it go when he has a thing to maybe disbar Jimmy with. Um, there's no way he's going to let it go. And he's going to concentrate on it. And he is going to, like, all of his... Like, it's not just about the law, it's about Jimmy as a person. Like, of course, Chuck respects the law and he wants um, things to be done by law. He doesn't want anything to be done the colorful way, but he, but because this is also Jimmy, yeah. um, who he feels just that resentment for. Kind of, but, like, also at the same time, like, I know that he loves his brother in a way, but just, I it, it overshadows. Yeah, I think it it's just, just overshadows. That, re- that resentment overshadows the love like i i i truly I think believe is, that chuck would be there for jimmy i think it is just the same uh when what he said in the uh, the previous or the episode before this one i'm not sure which one when he said uh you have to know i would do the same for you yeah i do believe if jimmy was ill chuck would chuck would do everything to yeah. help him. i do believe yeah. that but at the same time he will cross he will he will go really far to uh, catch him this time. Yeah. I and think he, I think it's uh, maybe for him. I mean, I don't know, but I feel like for him this might be even like a crossing line something he wouldn't do because uh, uh, recording someone unknowingly, like I feel like that that is morally on the gray side and maybe like honestly still, I, have no idea. I don't know about the law. I mean, I uh, like I get what you uh, what you mean. I think people answered uh, answered as that that it is fine in New Mexico. In uh, if but I then, remember, but right. I just let me Google it. In New Mexico recording laws typically is a one party consent state. In New Mexico, it is a criminal offense to use any device to record, obtain, share, or use wire communications without the consent of at least one person taking part in the conversation. Okay, like mm-hmm. so, one person chuck. Yeah. Yes, yeah. his consent. Okay, so so Chuck now has evidence. I wonder if maybe uh, this now is gonna uh, 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 because let's say if they are gonna go to court now, uh, is Kim gonna be Jimmy's lawyer, and then is Kim gonna bend the rules to get Jimmy out? Is that how she starts? Feel, they have clear evidence. It's it's not like I think. But see, I wouldn't I be d- able to. I like at least what my approach would be like. 
I was lying. I want him to feel better exactly, because he, he, he had quit his job. He's not mentally well. I would chucked, go about lying. All on the, all well, of the yes, yes. I mean, chucked ass. But like, if you were lying, you would still say, "Of course, I'm not lying." You know, if you wanted him to make, if you wanted to make him feel better, like you would still say, "Of I course, know. I'm not lying." I think, I think, uh, yeah, I think because it it was clearly shown that Chuck clearly asked, "Yeah, are uh, are you saying this just to make me feel better?" And he yeah. was like, "Yes, I'm saying this because to to make me, uh, uh, to make you feel better. Otherwise, I would never say it." But it it uh, it is the truth. It is how it is. I did that and that. But then. yeah, I mean, they, I mean, they're, I they're gonna do something to. I mean, Julian's not getting this bar. It's the third season, so it's not happening. We know it's breaking bad. He's still, he's still practicing law. Uh, but if you but get this bar, do you never? Ha- can you never? Yeah, yeah. I think that's it. If you get because this bar, he, that's um, it. Because I think there is a possibility for something to happen to Jimmy, and that's why he will later go to criminal law. I don't think if you get this parted, I don't think you can come back to be a lawyer afterward. I mean, then, then, so he doesn't get this parted. Yeah, but can he get something? <laughs> like, I don't know, maybe, I don't a fine. But that's more than a fine. If 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 he proved that you were faking, uh, first, breaking and entering, basically, stealing someone's property, changing it, that's felony. It is. That's a felony. So, like, I, I, I don't think there's a way for him to get anything. Just because if he... If, um, he does get something, it's gonna be too serious. So I don't know. I just don't think so. Well, it is possible for this bar, the attorney, to regain his law license. The process for doing so is lengthy and challenging. However, it is sometimes possible for disbarred lawyers to regain their license and return to practice in law. The reinstatement process varies by state and often requires a court order. New Mexico. New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> maybe laws changed since the 2000s. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so uh, unclear can answer. Can you practice again? again if you're this bar? But like this is this the is same. still, but okay. it's not that anything okay. in New Mexico. What I think it's gonna happen now, maybe, maybe it doesn't have to be. I think he's gonna get something. I think he's either gonna get this part if it's possible for him to ever practice law again uh, after that, or suspended or whatever. Something's gonna happen, and that's why he's gonna lose maybe his reputation, and like it's not like I'm gonna. Like ever, ever, some elderly person is gonna go and want him to be be their well, lawyer. Well, truly, honestly, I don't know if they're ever gonna know. Like, who's gonna know that he was ever disbarred? I think everyone. I don't know. I don't think so. Like, I, do, have you ever heard ever anywhere in your life if a lawyer has been disbarred? Yeah. So, do you think it's not gonna be important? I'm not saying uh, it's, it's not gonna be important. I'm just saying that uh, I'm sure it's gonna be if like if it comes to that. Like I'm sure this court proceeding for Jimmy, let's say if he goes to it, which I'm sure he does, is gonna have um, an impact in a way that like I don't know if Jimmy and Kim are gonna start crossing lines to like not get him this barred. It could be that, or if he does get this barred, maybe he's gonna have to do things. Even a more colorful way to somehow get reinstated. Well, that's what I think. Uh, I mean, that's what I think. That's what I. Uh, that's why I think if he gets the, this part, he's not gonna be able to do whatever kind of law he can, he wants, and he's gonna. That's why some one thing is gonna lead to another, and he's gonna go uh, and defend criminal because that is coming. Mm-hmm. That is coming true. Um, that's why I'm trying to connect well, that I mean, he part. He is a with criminal lawyer. That's why I'm trying to def- uh, to connect that part, him going and becoming a better call soul and trying to, maybe it's not like he's going to want to only defend criminals, but like he's this even changing his name. Too. Yeah, this could push he's him. He's even too. changing because he doesn't want to go by M- Miguel. Yeah, he did change his whole name. Oh God, I have no idea. I have no idea what's, what's over But it's going to be very interesting if this, his whole relationship with his brother is the thing that pushes him to that do pushes this. him to the brother who does not believe him that he can ever not cross the line is the thing that's gonna actually push, push him, him to cross to go, like a, to cross I mean, so many lines. Yes, I mean he is right now like you know crossing lines. He is doing things the colorful way, yeah. but it's not like crossing a line as much as defending the criminals and like after that money laundering is In gonna money be money laundering uh, for Walter and yeah. Um, I mean that's that that's heavy duty criminal exactly. business. And so honestly, if the, how how poetic. Like, that's for what I, shock to, that's to what, push the, him towards that. that. I mean, it does not have to happen, but, no. like, if we are getting him this part, and honestly, I can't see a way out, unless they make Chuck seem, like, unstable, I, unless they oh, use they his condition yeah, against that. him, 
and like if he if his condition if he, if they can prove that he is not mentally uh, fine and well, yeah, then Jimmy maybe really did say all of those stuff. Could Jimmy get to... him um, involuntarily committed? Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe uh, um, just depending on how the case go. If it goes like uh, in Chuck's, uh, if they use that against Chuck, then if he doesn't get this part, you know, mm-hmm. then maybe court. Is no, but I was ask... like thinking, could they like before this before like if they uh, find out that. No, I think they're gonna go. No, I think they're gonna go to maybe the to the court. I think that's what season three is gonna be. Maybe I'm so interesting about that. Honestly, uh, so many possibilities. Uh, I also, I mean, this episode was honestly horrible for Chuck. Uh, just like watching him in the hospital and oh, the 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 electricity that it's it always makes me so uneasy. And I feel like there is honestly something to be said about the treatment at the hospital if you're also mentally ill. How like maybe it's not geared towards people with some mental illnesses but like at the same time I understand they couldn't really do anything else like they need electricity for him to, to be able to like exactly check up on him but exactly. like it's 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 to bring them to a point what he where where he does uh, a self-inflicted what is it called ca- 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 catatonia Cat- catatonia catatonia i don't know what it's called but like when he basically shuts down his brain like to to push him to that condition that seems very harsh and it was honestly just horrifying to watch um i wonder if he's ever gonna get that treated like i really i i feel like it's so hard like the doctor keeps telling him that he needs to have him committed Mm -hmm. and like that's horrible like having your family member committed it's awful but he needs help and like i don't know I don't know what is the right thing. Like, uh, having him committed just sounds wrong. But, like, he needs help. He needs but professional leaving, help. Yeah, but leaving him home like this also yeah. sounds wrong in my mind. Yeah. I just I just, I just, just think he needs he needs help with this. I just think it's, um, like, that ending scene where I was wondering what Jimmy is going to do because they, um, Chuck was lying and, like, saying that he has now... Started to, I mean, look real. To think, yeah, he, it's he but started I can't believe to think he that he's planned the entire his thing. I mean, I can't believe. Yeah. Uh, even from the beginning, I thought yeah. maybe he was planning that. I just think he's like uh, uh, the anger and the resentment yeah. fuels him so much right now that he is <laughs> he is just he has tunnel vision for yeah. taking Jimmy down. Yeah. And like uh, I I feel like this whole thing that the, the the lying and all that would be against his principles but like right now i think he's also chucked that yeah. out of the window because he but needs he did to not get do Jimmy. anything out of well out of law, law no out of so law that's... nothing like morally yeah. speaking i'm not sure if he did, he did. Well, i mean lie like, morally that's what i'm yeah, saying like just morally lying, speaking because like working like, on someone's emotions record, by pretending yeah, yeah i mean because, that's like, what recording I'm someone yeah. to fight to make evidence if it's legal then that's law not wise yeah. he's fine just I'm saying, like you know, the, the lying part and the yeah. and the manipulating part. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but he is so concentrating on bringing him yeah. down that that he's just gonna he's just gonna do he's gonna push it to the line. Like if he yeah. if he if he needs, I think to take him down. It's a it's a great storyline. I I, agree. I just I just I don't know how I'm gonna handle it. Honestly, like I didn't expect. I mean, watching the show, I didn't, I never knew anything really. But like I just didn't expect that. Like at the forefront, we're gonna have like such a relationship that is like so complex but like so interesting to watch um, and it's not so loving you know it's not loving and because and, like, it is very e- it, it is easier to love and support a relationship like especially brother and brother like yeah. you know yeah. but this kind of relationship family relationship it's horrible to watch and it's so fucking complex one yeah and you don't i mean both of them are not doing the right things I agree. and i disagree with both of them on yeah. some levels some more and than at the, the same others. time like you you understand i can get what, I can where they're coming some, from yeah. but like i don't wanna i'm not like <laughs> like picking sides uh, from a, like well, jimmy's side I, but like uh well uh i think that this entire thing made chuck I don't want. I don't want to say evil, but made the anger and the, the resentment and all of that made him worse man. Where with yeah, Jimmy, it made him I don't feel kinder feel, person exactly. To his brother. Where where with Jimmy, he, uh, as much as he will cross some lines, mm-hmm. but he did do it for Kim, and I do believe him there that he 
that he did do it for Kim. I mean, maybe there was something to, something there to, to hurt Chuck as well because he's the one who hurt Kim, you know. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think his motivations are as evil, n- not closely as evil. As well, Chuck. again, he doesn't hold. Yeah. He grudges. doesn't have the resentment yeah. again yeah. because like they, they grew up in a completely different way. Jim was loved. Jim was liked. So Jim was appreciated way, by everyone. While Chuck was. Chucked to the exactly. side, basically. So in that way, if I have to pick a, pick a side, I would put, I, I would choose Jimmy's side, you know. Yeah. But uh, I can uh, understand why Chuck is doing stuff he's doing, and I can't be that angry at him, you know. Yeah. Like I, I can't hate him for 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 this stuff. I agree. I agree. Oh, great episode! Great what, season amazing finale. Episode. Honestly, can't believe we're starting season three next time. Do we're you think watching. Us is coming in season three? Yeah, I think us. I don't. I, I don't I feel know like season when. Three is a good. Yeah, I, don't, I. I honestly, even before we started the show, I thought his guys will come somewhere. In really? Three. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna be first season, but I didn't think it's gonna be like season four. That's like yeah. you know, I feel like it has to be earlier. So like season two, season three, I think that was the time I thought Gus was gonna come. Imagine he doesn't. Imagine <laughs> like season, season five. Hey guys, I w- I would be like if you you didn't need it to come. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I think Gus is coming in next season, and honestly, That'd can't wait to see that. Uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Oh. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you. We'll see you season very three. soon. Bye.